Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for March 1st through March 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. I so appreciate your likes, subscribes, and comments. Um, I love how active you guys are on the channel and you've been so, so friendly and appreciative and supportive of all the other comments. I just love reading through those and seeing uh, you guys interacting with one another. So thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I literally have clients all around the world at this point, uh, which I'm beyond grateful for. So the link is below with all the information about the distance energy healing. Uh, you can read the testimonials and You'll also see a really awesome 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. Um, and I think that's it. We're building to the full moon in Virgo, which will be on March 9th. So I don't know about you guys, but January was like the longest month ever. <laughs> February flew by like a blink, flash, done. And here we are in March. So I hope you're all doing well. And that's it for Shop Talk. We're going to get straight into the readings now. Hello, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for March 1st through March 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled, so I'm just going to get straight into it for you guys. Wow. Okay, Aquarius, starting out with the Ten of Swords. So something is ending for you, definitely. Um... Since this is a general reading, it could be different for each of you. It could be a relationship is ending or it can be beliefs, thoughts, um, the mind, you know, overruling the heart and soul. There's some sort of an ending here. It could be letting go of things that have been dishonest in your life or around you. It can also be um, letting go of, you know, being in situations where you feel taken advantage of or underappreciated. So where has this showed up in your life where you feel just... Yeah, okay, that's resonating more with me, where you feel taken advantage of, underappreciated, um, you know, maybe stabbed in the back, I think is a message of this card. What is that for you? Is that friendships? Is this family situations? Is this romance? Whatever it is, I almost feel like you got it. Like you recognized it, you know, the dynamic of whatever this relate, whatever relationship this is for you, and you recognized it and ended it or it got ended you know by the universe moving things because you're moving towards a new beginning here in a much lighter much more free energy with the full card so page of wands could be someone new coming in for you it could be a fire sign um, but it could also be something you're inspired about or excited about a new hobby a new work opportunity a new passion and I do feel like you're wanting to go all in, like wholeheartedly with this, with the full card. Like you're willing to take a chance. You're willing to take a risk. It's like, okay, well, this feels good. Let me just see what happens. That's like what I'm feeling. I love it. The full card just brings the lightest, most free energy. What else, Aquarius? Whoop. Yes. Okay. So you're moving towards a decision about something. You've got this new person. You've got this new passion, this new idea. You're willing to take a chance or risk, and you're going to be here making a decision as the details get worked out. Okay. So I feel like it is going to take a little bit of effort and time and investment on your side, whatever this is. But the outcome is something more solid than the Page of Wands. So Page of Pentacles here is really something with more of a foundation that can grow into something with longevity. So that's exciting. I feel the beginning of March is really going to be about something new starting in your life, Aquarius. And again, this can be a new relationship, a new job, new um, opportunity. But I, I feel you're excited about this. Whatever this is, you're excited and that's why you're willing to kind of put in the work and iron out the details and take your time with it. 
You, you're okay with not rushing. And that's why this is such an important card because letting go of whatever this was for you literally freed you up to allow whatever this beautiful thing is coming in for you. Yep, brand new cycle, brand new beginning. It's like the lesson here is really letting go to eights. So I've got death card up next, eight of cups, eight of swords. This new beginning coming in for you, you're in like a whole new level, Aquarius. And your wisdom, your understanding that things ending is a positive thing. There's always endings before a new beginning can come through. And I just feel you're not willing to keep the blindfold on anymore. You're not willing to invest into things that aren't 100% fulfilling for you. And maybe that's what it was in the past. You were willing to settle a little bit. You were willing to invest into things like, oh, you know, let's see what happens, even though your gut was saying, get out of here, like this is not good. I feel you've really risen above that because this is what I feel is ending for you. This death card is ending the energies that these cards bring, which is walking away from things that are not fulfilling and not being the victim or keeping blindfolded or not willing to really see the truth about things. Okay, I literally, whoa, I literally just had a vision of like your crown chakras just like opening up and the, this light coming through. So your wisdom, Aquarius, is coming through so, so strong right now. Your connection to the spiritual realm, your connection to your higher self, your higher knowing is really powerful right now and will be um, in March. So you are going to be having more of these baby aha moments or epiphanies, I feel, where your wisdom is going to override the strong Aquarius mind. That can also be what this is representing here. The mind, the ego, is no longer in charge for you, which again, that's going to bring a beautiful, positive blessing to any relationship that you're in or starting, any work opportunity that you're in or starting. Um, like you're getting out of your own way. Like the mind is taking a back seat burner here or a back seat. Beautiful. Wow, that is so powerful. Let me clarify. This Ten of Swords, what was ending for you? What are you? Okay. Eight of Wands. You're ready for the passion to lead instead of the mind. So it was, it, this Ten of Swords is about the mind energy and letting go. You've got three eights out here. The only eight missing is the Eight of, oh, you've got all of them. You've got Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Eight, wow. So eights are powerful in growth and spiritual connection and that infinite energy, right? That's ever moving and changing. So this is a huge transformation for you. Absolutely. And again, you're moving more out of, out of the head, out of that strong air, mental mind energy into the heart. That's why you feel so liberated. That's why you feel so liberated, Okay, let me see. What is this? Yep, no longer willing to settle or look the other way or not know the details. Like you're ready to really feel and honor and communicate and bring forward your best. I mean, look at this is some very challenging mental energy that you're breaking through and letting go of. Very, very heavy, which if we allow our minds to, you know, run away with us, it absolutely will. And the mind will always take you to places that are not so positive unless you're absolutely on top of um, being aware of those thoughts and where that energy is going. So you're really transitioning out of head into heart, I feel, or into soul and spirit. 
again with that beautiful crown opening that I saw. Amazing. Oop, there it is. That was quick. What is it? Yes, ideas and inspiration. These ideas and inspirations you're going to feel. They're not coming from the mind. They're going to be coming from your heart, your soul, your higher self, your the wisdom, your inner knowing. Which again is kind of like that's a brand new page for you guys to lead with that sort of energy. Beautiful reading, Aquarius. I love it. I hope that resonates with you. Um, if not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Um, thank you so much for the comments below the video. I really do love reading all your comments. Um, and the thumbs up help the messages reach more souls who may need them. So thank you for doing that as well. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I, I literally have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work. So thank Thank you for keeping me so busy week after week after week. Um, all the information is listed on my website below. You can read the testimonials. You can see what the energy therapy is about, what it can help with, how it can support you on your journey. Um, and you'll also see I have a really great 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. Um, and you can email me if you have other questions, you know, or something doesn't make sense. So I think that's it, Aquarius. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to March, and I will see you guys back here for the second half of March readings. Take care.